Good morning, brothers and sisters. We will now pray the Holy Rosary. Please all kneel. O sacred feast, in which we partake of Christ, whose sufferings are remembered, our minds are filled with His grace, and receive the pledge of the glory which is to be ours. You gave them bread from heaven to be their food, and this bread contained all goodness. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as a memorial of your suffering and death. May worship of the sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you want for us. In the peace of the kingdom, we live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel. May by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall clear praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us now meditate on the glorious mysteries. The first mystery, the resurrection. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The second mystery, the Ascension. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The third mystery, the descent of the Holy Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fourth mystery, the Assumption. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fifth mystery, the coronation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother, Mother of mercy. mercy. Hail, Hail our, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. So you do we cry for banished children of Eve. So you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. tears. Turn to the most, most gracious advocate, advocate your eyes of mercy towards, towards us. And after this, this our exile, exile show unto us the blessed, blessed fruit, fruit of your womb, womb Jesus. O Clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only, only begotten Son, Son by His life, death, death and, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. life. Grant we beseech you that, that meditating, meditating upon these mysteries, mysteries of the Holy Rosary, of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. Behold the faithful and prudent steward whom the Lord has set over his household. The Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him in splendid garment. Let us pray. Father, Father we entrusted our, our Savior, Savior to the care of St. Joseph. By the, By the help, help of his prayers, we are church and continue to serve our Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, Spirit one God, God forever, forever and ever. Amen. Jubilee prayer for the golden anniversary of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God, our Father and Creator, in, in whom we live and move and, and have, have our being, being we, we praise you as we, we gather in gentle grace, grace and gratitude on this jubilee of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God, the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, we preach you as the way, the truth, and the life, whose name we proclaim, whose love we strive to incarnate. O God, the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide, we bless you and seek the outpouring of your presence in the witness of our words and works, in the consecration of our lives to the holy preaching. In speaking only to you and about you, that our celebration should fail with fidelity to our mission, 
with hope, with hope for your promise, your promise and with true, true charity binding us all in the gospel we share to all peoples. By your will, O God, in your name, O Lord. Amen. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, pray for us. Our Holy Father, St. Dominic, pray for us. Please be seated for a while. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Today is the Wednesday of the fourth week of Lent. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my, and my mouth, mouth shall declare your praise. Today, if you hear the voice of the Lord, harden not your hearts. Today, if you, if you hear, hear the voice of the Lord, Lord harden not, not your hearts. hearts. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Today, if, if you, you hear, hear the, the voice of the Lord, Lord harden, harden not, not your hearts. hearts. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in His hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to Him, the dry land too, for it was formed by His hands. Today, if you hear, hear the, the voice, voice of, the of the Lord, harden not, not your hearts. hearts. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker, for He is our God and we are His people, the flock His shepherds. Today, if you hear the voice, the voice of the Lord, harden, harden not, not your heart. hearts. As your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Today, Today if you hear, hear the voice, voice of the Lord, Lord harden, harden not, not your, your hearts. hearts. Forty years I endured that generation. I said they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Today, if you hear, hear the, the voice of the Lord, harden not your hearts. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Today, Today if you hear, hear the, the voice of the Lord, Lord harden, harden not your hearts. Please be seated. My heart is ready, O God, my heart is ready. My heart is ready, O God, I will sing, sing your praise. Awake my soul, awake lyre and harp, I will awake the dawn. I will thank you, Lord, among the peoples, among the nations I will praise you. For your love reaches to the heavens and your truth to the skies. O God, arise above the heavens, may your glory shine on earth. O come and deliver your friends, Help with your right hand and reply. From his holy place, God has made this promise. I will triumph and divide the land of Shechem. I will measure out the valley of Sukkoth. Gilead is mine and Manasseh. Ephraim I take from my helmet. Judah for my commander's staff. Moab I will use for my washbowl. On Adam I will plant my shoe. Over the Philistines I will shout in triumph. But who will lead me to conquer the fortress? Who will bring me face to face with Adam? Will you utterly reject us, O God, and no longer march with our armies? Give us help against the foe, for the help of man is vain. With God we shall do bravely, and he will trample down our foes. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord has robed me with grace and salvation. 
I rejoice heartily in the Lord. In my God is the joy of my soul. For he has clothed me with a robe of salvation and wrapped me in a mantle of justice, like a bridegroom adorned with a diadem, like a bride bedecked with her jewels. As the earth brings forth its plants and the garden makes its growth spring up, so will the Lord God make justice and praise spring up before all the nations. For Zion's sake I will not be silent, for Jerusalem's sake I will not be quiet, until her vindication shines forth like the dawn, and her victory like a burning torch. Nation shall behold your vindication, and all kings your glory. You shall be called by a new name, pronounced by the mouth of the Lord. You shall be a glorious crown in the hand of the Lord, a royal diadem held by your God. No more shall men call you forsaken, or your land desolate, but you shall be called my delight, and your land espoused. For the Lord delights in you, and makes your land his spouse. As a young man marries a virgin, your builder shall marry you, and as a bridegroom rejoices in his bride, so shall your God rejoice in you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I will praise my God all the days of my life. My soul give praise to the Lord. I will praise the Lord all my days. Make music to my God while I live. Put no trust in princes, in mortal men in whom there is no help. Take their breath, they return to clay, in their plans that they come to nothing. He is happy who is helped by Jacob's God, whose hope is in the Lord his God, who alone made heaven and earth, the seas and all they contain. It is he who keeps faith forever, who is just to those who are oppressed. It is he who gives bread to the hungry, the Lord who sets prisoners free. The Lord who gives sight to the blind, who raises up those who are bowed down, the Lord who protects the stranger and upholds the widow and orphan. It is the Lord who loves the just, but towards the path of the wicked. The Lord will reign forever, Zion's God from age to age. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. O God, who reward the merits of the just, and offer pardon to sinners who do penance, have mercy, we pray, on those who call upon you, that the admission of our guilt may serve to obtain your pardon for our sins. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, In a time of favor, I answer you. On the day of salvation, I help you. And I have kept you and given you as a covenant to the people to restore the land and allot the desolate heritage, saying to the prisoners, Come out. To those in darkness, show yourselves. Along the ways, they shall find pasture. On every bare height shall their pastures be. They shall not hunger or thirst, nor shall the scorching wind or the sun strike them. For he who pity, pities them leads them and, and guides them beside springs of water. I will cut a road through all my mountains and make my highways level. See, some shall come from afar, others from the north and west, and some from the land of Sheen. Sing out, O heavens, and rejoice, O earth. Break forth into song, you mountains, for the Lord comforts his people and shows mercy to his afflicted. But Zion said, The Lord has forsaken me. My Lord has forgotten me. Can a mother forget her infant? Be without tenderness, for the child of her womb? Even should she forget you, I 
will never forget you. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate towards all His creatures. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is faithful in all His words and holy in all His works. The Lord lifts up all who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is just in all His ways and holy in all His works. The Lord is near to all who call upon Him, to all who call upon Him in truth. The Lord is gracious and merciful. He stand. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus answered the Jews, My father is at work until now, so I am at work. For this reason, they tried all the more to kill him, because he not only broke the Sabbath, but he also called God his own father, making himself equal to God. Jesus answered and said to them, Amen, Amen, I say to you, the Son cannot do anything on his own, but only what he sees the Father doing, for what he does, the Son will also do. For the Father loves the Son, and show him everything that he himself does, and he will show him greater works than these, so that you may be amazed. For just as the Father raises the dead and gives life, so also does the Son give life to whomever He wishes. Nor does the Father judge anyone, but He has given all judgment to the Son, so that all may honor the Son just as they honor the Father. Whoever does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent Him. Amen, amen, I say to you. Whoever hears my word and believes in the one who sent me has eternal life and will not come to condemnation, but has passed from death to life. Amen, amen, I say to you, the hour is coming and is now here when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God and those who hear will live. For just as the Father has life in himself, so also he gave to the Son the possession of life in himself and he gave him power to exercise judgment because he is the son of man do not be amazed at this because the hour is coming in which all who are in the tombs will hear his voice and will come out those who have done good deeds to the resurrection of life but those who have done wicked deeds to the resurrection of condemnation. I cannot do anything on my own. I judge as I hear, and my judgment is just, because I do not seek my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. My dear sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Ang pamamaraan ng ating Panginoong Kristo, ang pamamaraan o daan patungo sa buhay. Mga minamahal na kapatid sa ating Panginoong Kristo, 
Meron po ba kayong uh, mga paboritong superheroes? Ako po, maraming paboritong superheroes. Lumaki po ako, nanonood ng mga fantasy movies. Itong mga movies na ito'y batay sa legend or myth. Gustong gusto ko pong panoorin, lalo ng bata pa ako, si Superman, si Batman, si Spider-Man, si Aquaman, si Wonder Woman. Pagkatapos po, meron pang yung mga modernong uh, superhero lately, katulad ni Ant-Man, ni Iron Man, meron ding X-Men. Lahat po ng mga superheroes nito ay may kanya-kanyang mga katangian, may kanya-kanyang identity, may signature moves, meron po silang uh, sarisariling mga kapangyarihan. Ang ating Panginoong Isokristo, ay meron din pong katangian o sariling identity bilang ating Mesiyas o ating tagapagligtas. Sinasabi sa Biblia na hindi siya si Superman pero ang tawag sa kanya ay the Son of Man. Pagka sinabing si Jesus ay the Son of Man, hindi po nangangahulugan na siya ay ating minamaliit dahil anak ng tao. Makikita po natin na kapag katilingnan natin ang background kung bakit ang tawag sa ating Panginoon ay anak ng tao, the son of man, ma-appreciate natin na napakagandang titulo pala ito. Napakagandang katawagan nito. Nung panahon, bago pa man ang ating Panginoong Isokristo, sa kasaysayan po ng mga Israelita, lagi silang sinasakop ng iba't ibang mga kaharian o tinatawag nating mga imperyo Halimbawa, nandiri yan ang Babylonian Empire, Median Empire, nandiri yan ang Persian Empire, Macedonian Empire. At lahat ng imperyong ito ay may kanya-kanyang mga katangian, pero lahat sila ay tinatawag na terror, no? kakatakot, sapagkat ang hatid nila ay pag-uusig o persecution, ang hatid nila ay kamatayan. Kaya yung mga simbolo nila, ganun din. Ang simbolo na halimbawa ay leon no? na mayroong uh, pakpak ng agila. Yung iba ay simbolo ay bear, no? uso, na mayroong kagat-kagat na ribs, no? tadyang dumudugo. Yung iba yung simbolo ay leopard o tigre na mayroong apat na ulot, apat na pakpak. Yung isa yung simbolo ay halimaw na ang ngipin ay bakal. Pagkatapos merong sampung sungay na bakal din para ipakita ang kalang lakas, ang kalang kapangyarihan na sila'y dapat katakutan. Ang hatid po nila ay kamatayan sapagkat sa kasaysayan yun ang kalang ginagawa, destruction. In, ang ating Panginoong Sokristo ay tinatawag na the son of man upang i-contrast siya dun sa the son of the beast mga anak ng halimaw, sinasabi sa atin ng kapangyarihan ng iba't ibang imperyo ay lilipas din ang kanilang lakas at ang kanilang kapangyarihan ay mapapalitan ng kapangyarihan ng anak ng tao na ang hatid sa atin ay buhay, hindi kamatayan. Mapapalitan ang kanilang paghahari ng paghahari ng tao, hindi ng halimaw na kung saan ang paghahari ng tao ay Maamo, ang paghahari ng tao ay very gentle, mabait, na ang magiging katangian ay punong-puno ng pag-ibig at punong-puno ng kapayapaan. Kaya nang tawagin si Jesus na siyang anak ng tao, big sabihin, bagong pamamaraan ng kanyang daladala, hindi pamamaraan ng karahasan, kung hindi daan pamamaraan ng pag-ibig, na patungo sa buhay. Sa ating Ibanghelyo, sinasabi yan ni San Juan, no? ng ating Panginoong Sokristo, mula sa kamatayan, tayo ay hahanguin. May dalawang kahulugan ang ibig sabihin ng kamatayan. Una, maaaring tinatawag nating mga taong spiritually dead. Pangalawa, tinatawag na literally dead, patay talaga. Ano ibig sabihin ng spiritually dead? Ang isang tao ay patay spiritually kung tayo ay ayaw nang magsimulang muli. 
yung ayaw mo nang bumangon mula sa yung pagkakada pa. May mga taong ganyan. Alam natin na tayo lagi nagkakasala, tayo lagi nagkakamali. Subalit tuwing tayo madada pa, kailangan po nating muling bumangon. Araw-araw, tayo dapat na gumising at lumakad ng pasulong. Kapag ka sinabi natin na, Nako, wala na akong pag-asa. Ayoko nang magsimulang muli sa buhay nito. Tayo po'y spiritually dead. Yung taong spiritually dead, ay tinatawag nilang manhid. Wala nang pakiramdam. Wala nang pakiramdam sa paghihirap ng iba. Wala nang pakiramdam sa nangyayaring kasamaan sa kapaligiran. Yung desensitized na kapag ka nakakita ng violence, yung kapag ka tumiting ka sa ating lipunan, mukhang ordinaryo na lang sa'yo ang patayan, wala ka na nararamdaman, yung hindi mo na ikinalulungkot kapag ka nakikita mo yung paghihirap ng iba, ito tinatawag na taong spiritually dead. Tayo spiritually dead kapag ka tayo ayaw na mag-isip o tumanggap ng bagong katotohanan, shut off na yung ating mind. Ayaw na nating matutong muli. Ayaw na nating matuto ng mga bagong aral, bagong pamamaraan. Tawag yan ay sarado ang isipan. Bakit nagsasarado ang isipan? Kasi pagkat maaaring sinasabi natin, it's just a bother, no? Nakakabother lang na merong pang bagong karunungan na natutuklasan. Naku po, tayo spiritually dead kung ayaw na nating patuloy na paluguin ang ating sarili sa pamagitan ng pagtanggap sa mga katotohanan. Si San Juan sinasabi sa atin, ang Mesiyas ang tagapagligtas ay dumarating lagi sa buhay natin upang sa ganoon sa ating kamatayan sa ating pagkakasagdak sa buhay na waring walang pag-asa, nais tayong hanguin ng ating Panginoong Yesus. Panalangin po natin na ang buhay natin ay talaga namang maging buhay na katulad ng sa ating Panginoong Kristo, na sa ating pang-araw-araw na pumuhay, ang babanaag sa ating mga mukha at sa ating mga kilos ay ang mukha ng ating Panginoon. Hindi po tayo si Superman, tayo mga ordinaryong tao lamang. Subalit kahit tayo ordinaryong tao lamang, meron po tayong magagawa. May magagawa tayo kung katulad ng ating Panginoong Kristo, ang ating puso ay puno ng pagmamahal. Merong pakialam sa ating kapwa. Ang ating isipan ay bukas. Ang ating sarili ay laging handang magsimula sa tuwing ay gigising sa araw-araw. Panalangin natin sa Panginoong Diyos na naway matanggap natin ang mga biyayang ating kinakailangan upang sa ganoon ngayong pong napakalapit na ng mga mahal na araw ang pagbabagong hangad ng ating simbahan ay ating makamtan. Please all stand. As we bring our petitions before the altar of God, let us ask for the strength and faith to abide by His will. Let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may guide her members in the path of goodness and bring them to God's love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may turn away from sin with all our hearts and be obedient to God's laws. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all those who are undergoing trial and persecution on account of their faith may persevere and trust in God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may follow the example given to us by Jesus and conform to the will of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the prior provincial and for our brothers and ministry at Bay Dominico and St. Mary Magdalene. Let us pray to the Lord. L Lord, hear our prayer. 
for the intentions of our brother novice, Ian Joseph Melendres, who is celebrating his birthday today. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, and for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may finally receive God's promise of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, help us to align ourselves with your will so that we may live in the manner you desire. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray with your brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of, you, of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. May the power of this sacrifice, O Lord, we pray, mercifully wipe away what is old in us and increase in us grace of salvation and newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts and lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is true, right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, for through bodily fasting you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, the minions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. We are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. 
Make holy therefore these gifts of pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the jewel so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis is assistant bishop in all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, we have pleased you throughout the ages. We may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us pray for the coming of the kingdom as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And it is not temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, to set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Son of Mary, the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to His supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. Whoever hears my word, says the Lord, and believes in him who sent me, has eternal life. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation, by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Whoever hears my words, says the Lord, and believes in him who sent me, has eternal life. Let us pray. May your heavenly gifts, O Lord, we pray, which you bestow as a heavenly remedy on your people, not bring judgment to those who receive them. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We shall have the Oracha Imperata. Let us turn to St. Joseph, who brings comfort to the afflicted and consolation for the sick to help us in our needs. 
Let us say together, Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Joseph, who saved the Savior from death in the hands of Hiran, saved the world from the death of COVID-19. We pray. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Joseph, who suffered to see the child and his mother born in poverty in a manger, stay with us as we endure our crosses of hunger joblessness and sickness due to COVID-19. We pray. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Joseph, you heard the prophetic words of Simeon to Mary, that her heart would be pierced by the sword. Beg God to bless our efforts to end the pandemic through the vaccination program and observance of health protocols. We pray. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Joseph, you suffered protecting the child and his mother in exile in Egypt. Protect and shield from harm those who care for our brethren who are sick and dying. We pray. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Joseph, you were anxious when the child was lost for three days in the temple. Turn our COVID-19 fears, anxieties, and oppression into hope, joy, and peace. We pray. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Let us pray. Saint Joseph. Come to our aid, and in these times of anguish and anxiety, take us under your care as we place our trust in you now and forever. Amen. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong pagbisita sa Minor Basilica and Parish of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag at sa inyong pagkikisa sa ating banal na visa. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass ascended, go in peace. Thanks be to God. Shall have the prayer for the blessing of the sick and for the blessing of your religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us the strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, so that the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.